Previously, I had gone to a local family park to do a traditional landscape painting. And when I got there, I found very little of interest. There's limited subject matter or points of interest in some of the parks. And in this one, the only thing really here is the swing set. So I decided to kill time painting what I assumed to be an unassuming topic, the playground and jungle gym area of the park. Lo and behold, the jungle gym had its own geometric challenges. The painting was a decent experiment, but the more pressing takeaway was how much I enjoyed the on-the-fly analysis of unnatural lines as part of an empan air experience. This led to the thought, That led to the thought, I love skateboarding. <laughs> skate parks are all geometry. Eureka, skate park and plein air was born. For the beta testing of this idea, I wanted to go back to a skate park where I had volunteered with Boards for Bros, putting skateboards together with the community to donate to children around the country. After constructing about 100 completes, with the help and sometimes guidance of the other volunteers' sons and daughters, we did grip tape art for a while. Then we gave some of the decks away to kids at the park, and the rest were distributed at other events. It's incredible to work with kids who work hard to help other kids, and this park, having a special place in my heart, seemed to be the obvious place to start drawing a new and challenging subject type, the park itself. I know. On video, skate parks look relatively smallish, but really, they are way bigger than you'd expect. Sometimes the obstacles feel larger than life, especially when you walk up to or try to climb on them. I was a bit nervous to set up and start doing art in a place where I'd never seen people doing art before, except for on the park itself, you know, graffiti, street art, or on the courses you see in the competitions on TV. While unconventional, skate parks present unique challenges. The geometric perspectives are demanding in their accuracy. Failure to capture the nuance of placement can really highlight your misunderstandings of translating to the paper. Light and shadow provide additional layers of challenges. Nestled in the heart of Tampa is the Bro Bowl, a large open air skate park attached to the larger Perry Harvey Senior Park. This whole area celebrates Central Avenue's rich musical history. There are a lot of people that go through this park and enjoy it, so all the sections of the park have ample benches to sit and draw. Skate parks are areas of geometric maelstrom providing endless angles and combinations to play with. They're great because once you've worked one scene, you find a new perch and do another. Wait for the light to change and do another. Y'all get a load of me, yeah, don't let them slow on me I get the bad like a grocery I'm on my ground like I'm supposed to be And I do not care if you notice me Boxes, boxes, I cannot fit in the boxes Stop it, stop it, quitting was never an option Skate parks have an extreme variance in their design Providing a bounty of obstacles and countless unique layouts I also feel skate parks lend themselves to many art styles from hyperrealism to the abstract. Providence Skate Park is my local and way easier to run down to and knock out a piece anytime I want, 
It's a bit smaller, but it's got lots of angles to capture. As usual, I tend to finish my end plein airs in a clean studio. Besides the angle being wrong, logically the top of the rail can't be cutting off a skater's access to the steps. Let's adjust this ramp that's coming down from the second long step. The angle of this ramp coming down from the wall here is a bit off. atmosphere around the different skate parks add flavor to the overall experience. took some agency of the layout by moving the flat ground from a different section of the park into this area. done. Just want to put some dappled shadow from the trees across the flat ground and a single source shadow under the rail. Please let me know of any strange places you've done plein airs and places you think I should try. Thanks for joining us here at White Paint and Pastels. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell, and we'll see you back here on the first Friday of every month. Check out my website and use the links below for any art supplies you might need. But most importantly, get out there and keep doing art because life's a medium.